guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? I'm so happy in this video because I'm in Ghana, but by the time you're watching this, I'm already going back to America, okay? This was a very quick and urgent trip. I've been gone for what, six years and so much has changed and I'm really, really impressed. I met a lot of foreigners, especially Americans, who have actually relocated to this place, have started their own business, they're doing so well, and they have good things to say about this country. It's peaceful, it's beautiful, the people are amazing, the food, you know, I'll talk about all of that but let's not get ahead of ourselves I just want to share some things with you that I realized since I came to Ghana or oh, I already knew just in case you're planning on like relocating or just visiting Ghana you can actually come back to this video and it'll be so helpful the first point I want to talk about is the weather and the season. We do have just two seasons, which is the rainy and the dry season. The dry season is usually called Hamatan. During those times, things become dusty very, very quick. Like your car becomes dusty quick. Your house becomes dusty quick. People actually have like problems breathing around those times. During those times, so please have some chopsticks, lip glosses, and lotion in your purses or your bag. Because if you don't, it's going to be a problem. Your lips are going to crack okay and your feet are going to crack and become white in the shortest time also Ghana is pretty warm you are definitely going to get like four hours of sunshine we do not have the four seasons like here in America where we have the spring summer fall and the winter so when you're packing pack lights do not take like heavy winter jackets or anything because you probably you know even probably you end up not needing anything like that so the temperature ranges from maybe 24 to 29 degrees Celsius honestly it's mostly warm as a foreigner if you're traveling to Ghana I just make sure like you're traveling during the summertime which is the rainy season time it's always mostly raining around June July I mean climate change so maybe it wouldn't always be accurate but yeah this is how the weather is it's mostly like warm the next point greetings hey your boy dear in Ghana we are really really respectful we respect the young we respect the old for instance if somebody is to ask you something usually they respond in no please yes please or even if you ask somebody their name they will just say maybe Jeanette please or something they're just very polite and very respectful also I'll say that I just know some of our greetings a lot of people speak the Ashanti language at least know you know one or two of them just say oh it's a saying it's a saying is how are you in tree and you can just say oh me patro yeah like I'm doing very well and thank you me dasi like know these things because greetings are very very important if you're going to ask somebody for directions to a place don't just go and say oh I'm going here where do I go don't say how are you doing something like that before you actually say I'm looking for this place how can I find your greetings are very very important I mean it's our culture we are very respectful and very very polite so do not take advantage of that the third thing you have to know is the currency I don't know which country you are coming from but if you're visiting Ghana from America a dollar is almost six Ghana cities when you're buying something and they say 30 cities it doesn't mean that it's 30 dollars maybe a shirt is maybe 60 cities that means that in USD it is $10 something like that so make sure you know your currency make sure you know the conversion make sure you know the rate language I don't know all the languages there are so many languages maybe 85 maybe 85 is even less a lot like maybe 200 languages that are spoken we have the Fanti, the Gandangwe, the Ashanti tree, the Kuyapim tree, the Bunu tree, the Gonja, the Kasin there are so so many languages most people actually speak the Ashanti tree immediately get to Ghana the first thing they'll ask you is oh it's a say Akwaba it's a say is how are you Akwaba is like welcome I would say tree is the most spoken language in Ghana because Ghana too was colonized by the British we speak English too I am Ghanaian I speak English a lot of Ghanaians do speak English so you can definitely also communicate with people in English accommodation there are so many hotels guest houses motels Airbnb if you're going to stay for maybe a month I would say that make sure you get like an Airbnb or an apartment because it's cheaper. Hotels ranges from maybe $60 to $150 a night. But if you get like an Airbnb, especially if you're a big crowd going, Airbnb is the best for you. Hotels can be very, 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 very expensive. The food, the food, the 
day if you want like an English breakfast you can get something for maybe five dollars which is like maybe 27 Ghana CDs when you get to Ghana make sure you try the Ghanaian meals <laughs> don't go to Ghana and only be eating English breakfast we have so many foods different types of food variety we have fufu banku plantain with beans tz wache all types of soups in katin kwai peanut butter soup aben kwai palm nut soup light soup fish soup okro banku like there's so much to actually eat usually in the night time we have like the street food the kele wele indomie we have variety when you go to ghana have an open mind i've heard a lot of foreigners saying good things about our meals and the good thing is it doesn't have preservatives or anything and you're healthy okay it's very very healthy and you're definitely going to enjoy it we have the fine yogurt with the pie and the guy on a bicycle will be doing pompe 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 like come here buy it's affordable too so try it and i promise you you are not going to regret it the one thing that hasn't changed is gmt which we say ghana man time is the greenwich meridian time in america it's 10 35 but here in ghana it's 2 35 so ghana is four hours ahead of us but when i say gmt i'm not even talking about the greenwich meridian time i'm talking about the ghana man time if you're trying to get uber to a place and it says on the app that three minutes just give an additional 10 minutes so just say 13 minutes if you are going somewhere to eat or you go to a restaurant to eat and they tell you 15 minutes just give them an additional 20 minutes if you're meeting a ghana somewhere and they tell you i'll be there in an hour just give them an extra 20 minutes that hasn't changed at all i mean i hope it changes sometimes but that is what makes us like unique and special it's just how it is and the next important thing you should know is negotiating so you go to like shop right and Malcolm and those places definitely there's a price tag so you can go and negotiate but if you go to somewhere like Makola or Su, the local places definitely you can negotiate so if someone tells you this bracelet is 20 CDs then you can just cut it in half and once you cut the price in half don't go above the 10 CDs you can even negotiate and come down even more that is just how it works even with taxi fares and stuff you can negotiate unless it's Uber or Bolt that you can so learn how to negotiate and it will save you some cash in Ghana there are a lot of mosquitoes I'm not even gonna lie okay wow these mosquitoes don't play and if you joke you're going to get malaria make sure you have some malaria treatments too what really works is mosquito repellent it's called medisoft mosquito repellent and also the mosquito coil they are really good they can burn for like four hours five hours one thing I realized with a medisoft mosquito repellent it's a bit too strong it's stronger than a coil in my opinion but the very last thing I'll talk about is transportation if you want to go somewhere you can do uber or boat in Ghana it has to be 18 years or more to be able to drive public transport they call it chocho I mean it's quite stressful but I think the experience is very very nice you get to be the local people you get to have like real conversations of what happens in their lives what happens in Ghana and the jobs they do honestly I think it's an experience that you should definitely have if you want to but then if you just don't want all that hassle and bustle then definitely uber or if you have someone to drive you I've said so much in this video I don't know what else you want to know but definitely I'm coming back I just realized how much I miss this place my sister like I'm just too excited like I'm relaxed okay I bro America too much but anyway I'm just going to end this video here I hope you enjoyed if you have any more questions my Instagram handle is that junior Mensa. hit me up ask me a question and I'll definitely try and answer to the best of my ability I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video bye